Good afternoon, Year 5, and welcome to your second history lesson of the week. Hopefully some of you earlier in the week were able to have a go at mummifying an orange, and if you were not able to do that, hopefully you were able to watch the video at least of somebody else doing it, because today you are going to be writing a set of instructions for any one of the ancient Egyptians out there who are looking to know how to mummify a body. Um, for the purposes of today's lesson, though, we won't be asking any questions about where the body has come from. Here is your timeline of key events from ancient Egypt. Pause the text, have a little look at it, see if you can remind yourselves of some of these things. Um, I will go through them in a little bit more detail later on in our topic. Um, and let's have a look at some lessons, uh, questions from our pre. No, let's have a look at some vocabulary first. Um, so again, we're looking at mummifying, which means to preserve a body by embalming it and wrapping it in cloth, and embalming, which means to preserve something from rotting by using spices. Um, okay, so some questions from some previous learning. What is the highest mountain in the world? Remember, we talked a little bit about how the highest and the tallest mountains are slightly different. The highest one is probably the one you're thinking of. Um, what are the four capital cities of the UK? Uh, the United Kingdom is England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. So what are the capital cities of those countries? And from our last lesson, what did ancient Egyptians use to stop corpses from smelling during the mummification process? So have a go at answering those questions. Okay. So let's have a little look at some answers. So the highest mountain in the world is Mount Everest. Now, the reason for that is because it is the highest point above sea level. There is one called Mount uh, Mauna Kea, which is the highest from base to summit. But a lot of that mountain is underwater, so it doesn't end up being um, as far above sea level as Mount Everest. The four capital cities of the UK are London, Cardiff, Edinburgh and Belfast, uh, and they used spices to stop corpses from smelling during the mummification process. You can also have the point there if you said that they do it, uh, they do the process in a tent outside so that it's open air and um, air can flow through. OK, so last lesson, we had a brief introduction to mummification and hopefully you guys will either have watched the video or had a go yourself at mummifying something. You can mummify basically anything that was living um, using those techniques that we looked at in the last lesson. So why did they do it? That's quite an important question. It's not just so that Scooby-Doo could have some token villains. Um, it was mainly rich people who could afford to be mummified. Uh, ancient Egyptians believed that your physical body was important to you in the afterlife. Having it as well preserved as possible gave one a better chance of having the body in the afterlife. Organs that, if you remember from Monday, were scooped out of the body, um, were placed in something called canopic jars, um, which were then buried with the bodies, uh, except for your heart, which was put back in. Um, and then the expectation was that once you reach the afterlife, your body would magically reassemble itself with everything that it was buried with. Um, so your job today is to write a set of instructions describing how to mummify a body. Now, what you can do is you can use the template that is, I'm sorry, you can use the Word document to type into, or you can write it uh, by hand and submit a picture. Um, you can include diagrams, which might be easier if you are writing it by hand, or you might want to use a combination of the two where you write the nine steps or whatever it ends up being on Word, and then you can submit nine pictures as well, a diagram for each stage. And to help you, I have found a set of instructions that you can make your own to help you. And I've also attached a copy of this in the resources for today. Please don't just copy it. Uh, make sure that you use your own knowledge as well um, and take the key parts out. So I'm not going to read through all of these for you, um, but they are in the resources at the bottom of your thing on Teams. So you can have a look at them. I look forward to seeing your instructions. Remember that a set of instructions needs to use the imperative. So it needs to be giving orders needs to be concise and clear. So if I were to pick it up and happens to have a 
body next to me that I was trying to mummify, I would know exactly what to do. So start off with what you will need and then start off with the process. Best of luck, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy doing that.